Welcome back fellow reefers to another Pittsburgh Reef Junkie video. My name is Sean and this is where we take reefing one day at a time. Today it's all about this guy right here. The very interesting chocolate tang. Also known as the mimic tang. We will talk about where they are from, the aquarium needed to house them, their diet as well as their nutritional needs and why you should or should not keep them. Let me know in the comments below if you also have a mimic tank or you are wanting to get one in your reef tank. Where a mimic tank is from? The mimic tang or chocolate tang are found in the Indo-Pacific in Bali. Mimic tangs have not yet been captive bred. Some spawning has happened in public and home aquariums. However, no young have been reared yet. So they have quite a journey to get into your reef tank. But you will not mistake what this guy looks like. As juveniles, they mimic the lemon peel angel. As adults, their colors are very vibrant. These guys are more affordable, especially to new reefers in the hobby. Starting roughly around $50 or more, depending on the size. Take care of them and you'll have them for many years of enjoyment. That now brings us to the housing of these guys. So if you're asking yourself, what do I need to keep mimic tanks? The answer is a large tank. These tanks get big. Mimic tanks reach lengths of eight inches in captivity, 10 inches in the wild. As a small juvenile, a tank under 75 gallons will work, but as it grows, it will need a larger tank, larger than 120 gallons. If your aquarium is too small, aggression will most likely start to happen. <coughs> mimic tanks do not tolerate other tanks but are only moderately aggressive. However, I watch our Mimic Tang chase our Tamini Tang nonstop. These guys love to swim, so give them the much needed area to do that. Lots of open space, as well as properly spaced rock work for them to swim in and out of. So what do you need to feed Mimic Tangs to keep them healthy? The answer is nori, dried seaweed. Red or green is fine, but if you have a supermarket that sells fresh nori, that is the way to go. Mimic tanks also enjoy meaty offerings as well, like mice and shrimp. In between meal time, you'll find them grazing all the time on the glass or smooth surfaces of your aquarium. This makes them a really nice utilitarian fish. My mimic tank will also eat pellet food as well when I feed my other fish, which adds to a balanced diet. Now, this is why you should and should not keep mimic tanks. Why you should consists of these reasons. Number one, they're a hardy fish, as long as you acquire one that has not contracted ick or velvet. Tangs are very susceptible to this. However, good quarantine practice will help. And if you see a sick fish, don't buy it. Number two, like I said earlier, these guys are an amazing grazing machine on your glass or acrylic aquarium. They're real workhorses, just like the purple tang, which you can click above to see how to take care of them as well. Number three, the beauty of this fish and the interesting way it mimics angels. Number four, with the cost of yellow tangs getting more and more expensive, it will add that nice splash of yellow to your reef tank until the yellow tang population increases and they lift the ban in Hawaii. Now, my reasonings as to why you should not keep a mimic tang. Number one, they get large. Tangs need a lot of tank space to be truly happy. Like I also said in my last video about the purple tang, it would just be cruel to, keep, to try to keep them in a smaller tank than what they should have. Two, mimic tangs tend to be moderately aggressive to other tangs, even tangs of not similar shape or size. I would introduce a mimic tank with another type of tank at the same time. There was a quick rundown on the chocolate tank and or mimic tank if you're thinking of getting one. I have given you some tips on doing so. If you found this video helpful, then give it a like. Next week, we will highlight the Tamini tank, another great utilitarian fish to have in your reef tank. So until then, we'll see you on the next one.